Hey guys, David Fine here from Keys Moths. Uh, this will be the final video of this series. Uh, this is the 2025 um, moth specimen deposit to the Florida State Collection of Arthropods slash McGuire Center in Gainesville, Florida at the University of Florida um, because we've been doing moth research in the Florida Keys now since 2002 and we've got thousands of specimens, then it's time to start depositing them. So we're mounting them, we're labeling them, we're identifying them to the best of our ability, but these are not for my personal collection. This is a permitted project, and now we're gonna be depositing them to the McGuire Center for Lepidopter Research. So uh, guys, we have done seven boxes so far of moths, and we've gone through all of them. So if you've joined us through this series, um, thank you. Uh, if you like the videos, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Any comments that you have, drop a comment in the comment box. We appreciate it because it helps us in our in the fight of the YouTube algorithm. So, uh, guys, this box might look drab and boring at first glance, but I promise you it's not. I promise. These are all, I believe they're all, uh, geometrids. And so geometrids are what we would call inchworms. The caterpillars are inchworms. It's a very, very large family of moths throughout the United States and worldwide. And there's some, actually, some very beautiful geometries. Most of these are brown. But let's start with one of the rarest ones. Uh, this guy right here, let me show you a nice up close of this moth because you'll be one of a very few people that have ever taken this close of a look at this species. They're very, very rare. I've only seen three or four of them in the Florida Keys. Let me see if I can get a name on that for you. Oof. That's Almoides terraria. Almoides terraria. Uh, only, fa only found a couple of them in the Florida Keys. Uh, whether or not they live in the Caribbean, I who knows, but that's a rare moth and pretty decent specimen. It's not the best mount job, but uh, we found this guy in Key Largo, let's see, in June 18th, 2023. And so that's a beautiful moth, guys, very rare. Now, this guy are a little bit more common, and these are some really nice specimens of Perolastima. It's another geometrid species. Um, it's a really, really handsome moth. Pero, yeah, pero, like like a, like a dog in Spanish. It's pretty interesting. I don't know why they call it that. But we found them regularly throughout the Keys and pretty much every island that we've surveyed and almost every month that we've uh, done our project. And so it's pretty cool. Uh, nice bugs. Now this one here, this is a pretty moth. Do I have an ID on this? Uh... Uh, let me pull the let me pull the species label off there so I can identify it for you. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Marcaria distributaria, distributaria, and only in the lower keys have we have I found this guy. This one's from No Name Key uh, down in this is February twenty thirteen. Oh, this is an old specimen. Um, finally getting this guy deposited to the McGuire Center. And they have a really, really pretty, like, uh, brownish banding on the outside. Uh, pretty pretty regular uh, in appearance down the low, in the lower keys, but I've never seen them in the upper keys. So this one here is, I believe, is a female. That's the male. Pretty similar. They're not really heavily dimorphic or anything. Now, <clears throat> these guys here are fairly common as well, and I found these in multiple islands in the Florida Keys. Let me see if I can get a, a label. Maracrypha definata, definata. Pretty cool moth. Um, Let's see. Yeah, so these guys, they are fairly regular down the Florida Keys. Um, beautiful, beautiful specimens when they're fresh. Uh, they are pretty cool. Now, these ones here, 
This little moth right here it took me a while to identify, believe it or not. It, it looks like a, a, a species of geometrid that I, I we see regularly, but they have these really cool white spots on the hind wing. And prodidata, it's it's Paralexia prodidata. That's what I'm calling it. If it's something different, comment down below if you know what they are. So good moth, guys. Uh, we enjoy seeing them every now and then. And we love seeing the little white dot. You just know it's something different because most of them don't have that white dot. So it's pretty cool. Uh, now, this one right here, well, these these little guys, this is, this is one of the strangest names of any moth ever. Okay, so this moth is called Idea perverta penis. I am not kidding you. Idea perverta penis. I don't know why they call it that. It's a little weird, and I'm not going to comment on it because it's weird. But that's a very common moth throughout the Florida Keys, and we found them in every month and every island. So, uh, idea, pervert penis, there it is. You've seen it now for yourself. Now, these guys here are very, very common. They feed on wild tamarind, um, and they, let me see if I can get a name on that one for you. This one is... Uh, Samalia, Samalodes ab, abidata? Am I saying that right? Probably not. Well, we found these very commonly throughout the Florida Keys, and there's a series of them there. Now, these ones here, they've got this little bit of like a brownish, pinkish coloration to them. And when they're fresh, it actually looks more reddish than that, but when they dry out, they lose some of that reddish coloration. Now, these, these guys right here are only in the Southern Keys. I've only seen them in the Southern Keys. And they're, they're pretty cool because uh, if you were to look at a range map, check out our website, and you can check out species number. Let's see. Species number seven. We're going to go to Semiopus caecaria. And um, if you check out the range map on that species, they are only found in the Florida Keys. So, and it's the lower keys too. I've never seen one in Key Largo. So whatever it is about the Pinelands of the lower keys, that is where this species lives. Now, it would be interesting to, to do some lighting in uh, Everglades National Park. Well, maybe one day I'll see if I can get permits to do that. See if this species lives in the Pinelands up there because it's very common in the Pinelands in the Lower Keys. So uh, that's that. Oh, here's another. Here's another idea species. Uh, gosh, am I going to be able to get the name of this without? This is idea. Insulin insulensis. Okay, idea insulensis. Beautiful bug, very common, Florida Keys. Uh, there's another common little moth right there. Now, this video's dragging on a little bit, so I'm gonna get it over with. Now, these green dudes up here, they are absolutely so cool. And I love these things because um, the caterpillars, well, not only they're green, this is uh, Synclora, Cupidinaria species 7064. And they've got this bright coloration, this green coloration on their wings and like a brick red border. There's a number of different species that are very, very similar to these and they can be very pretty difficult to tell them apart. So good luck to you if you're going to start messing with little green geometrids. The green scaling comes off very, very easily when you mount them. So you can see how the green scaling, the metallic green scaling kind of rubs off really quickly and easily. I try to mount them as best I can and preserve all the colors, but boy, oh boy, is it tough. 
um, doing the best I can. So, uh, guys, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. And please, please do so. Comment down below. What do you think of these geometric spe specimens that we're donating to the Florida State Collection of Arthropods in Gainesville? Uh, it helps us when you give us a like, so please do so. Till next time, guys, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. This concludes our eight-part series on uh, donating or depositing our specimens to the McGuire Center of Lepidoptera Research in Gainesville. There it is, guys. It's going up there. That's a lot of work right there. <laughs> uh, like the video, please. Take care. See you next time. Enjoy South Florida or wherever it is that you live. Enjoy the moths there. Take care. Bye.